Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of July 6th through the 13th, and this is for you and the other person. So what I'd like you to do is think about this other person. So you're thinking about one person in particular. You picture this one person in your head. Okay, start picturing this person in your head right now. This one person, this one person, you and the other person, Capricorn, for the week of July 6th through the 13th. Who, what, what's going on? What's going on with Capricorn and this person that they are picturing in their head right now? Ooh. Huh. Now, there's a lack of growth here. There's no excitement, no passion, no desire. So that is the connection right now between you and this person. So that is a lack of passion. Okay, no desire uh, going south. I just got to be honest with you. But that doesn't mean that's how it's going to end. So you and the other person over here. So this is no attraction. Okay, so there could be a lack of uh, growth here. Okay. And the other person, please. The other person. Whoever you're dealing with is experiencing a tower moment, and it's an extreme. Whoever you're dealing with, they are feeling upheaval internally. They are going through a major life change, a painful life change. They may ha be having some health problems, some extreme health problems, whoever you're dealing with. This person may be experiencing a permanent loss in their life or they have experienced a permanent loss. This is um, a heartfelt uh, feelings, very emotional. Let's see. One more card, please. Ah, Two of Wands reversed. Now the Two of Wands reversed is fear of change, indecisiveness, fear of the unknown, staying put, uh, disappointments, uh, being held back. Whoever you are dealing with is being held back. They are experiencing some disappointments in their life. Uh, they are very emotional, the person that you are dealing with. They may, they may um, cry a lot or they, uh, well, they may have a big heart. Whoever you're dealing with may have a very big heart, but it looks as though they are, they may be dysfunctional in some way. Uh, they they like to choose the safest option. Okay, they don't. They have a lot of fear. Whoever you're you're thinking about, um, they may be dealing with another person as well. Could be a Scorpio because we have Scorpio here and we have Scorpio here, and they're indecisive. So whoever you're dealing with, male or female, you're dealing with an individual that may be going back and forth between you and a Scorpio doesn't have to be it could be a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio this person um, is having a hard time choosing they are really really struggling by the looks of things you on the other hand and make sure that this is focused you on the other hand um, want to move forward right you're 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 wanting to take a new approach you're being very direct, being very blunt, being very honest. Now, there's a lack of uh, love here. The Page of Cups reverse is an unrequited love situation. It's uh, uh, shattered dreams. And maybe you're feeling like your dreams have been shattered, you know? Um, there's a rejection here. Maybe you're, you've been rejected by this person and now you have your guard up. Whoever you're thinking about, whoever you pictured in your head is definitely feeling uh, disruption internally. This, this connection, this right here is the connection between you guys or the resolution. The Ace of Wands is there's no opportunity for growth here. There's no, there's no, I don't think there's a, there's much attraction left, right? There's no attraction or there's no desire to get with this person anymore or they don't have any desire to get with you there's just a lack of, or a lock you know it's gone south okay it's, it has um 
maybe there's no sexual attraction or no sex drive or something like that. Um, just no desire. Over here, I feel like you're you're feeling pretty pretty content with where you're at. It feels like you're not really interested in them anymore, okay? Because this person is looking away. It's like I don't really I'm not really attracted anymore, or something like that. Or or you know, this is very smug. It could be prideful. Maybe you're you're feeling like you already have it all. You know, you don't you don't need to be involved in this, whatever the case is. But obviously, you were thinking about this person, right? So the Nine of Cups is, I got it all. I got it all. This is somebody that is very satisfied. Um, they've walked away from something emotionally unfulfilling. Uh, sitting really pretty here. Very, very abundant. Very, very comfortable with themselves. Now, you are probably um, quick. You're quick. You may be quick to judge. You're very assertive. You're probably um, very intelligent. Uh, defensive, you may be on the defensive. Um, it feels to me as though you are, you're gaining some sort of confidence in your life. You're seeing things differently. It's like you're taking a new approach. You see the truth. It's like you're you're aware. You've received some sort of clarity or something. You may no longer desire to be with this person. What the hell? Yeah, this is the end of a contract. There's no compatibility here. And you may and this is seeing the truth, the ace of swords. Okay, so in, in this Knight of Swords hand, you may be seeing that this contract is over. Okay, you may be seeing that. You may be seeing that there's no compatibility. Or you may be seeing that whoever you're dealing with is thinking about somebody else. I mean, the lover's reverse is a conflict. There's disharmony. There's a disconnection. There's one-sidedness. And there's one-sidedness with the Page of Cups reversed as well. This is a one-sided connection. It's, it is. It's not on equal playing ground by any means whatsoever. It's a one-sided thing. Over here, you know, you may be feeling um, disconnected from this person. You know, I feel like there's some self-love here as well. You may be, you may be choosing to do your own thing. You're quite content with where you're at because, you know, you just don't have any desire to be wrapped up in this person's emotional turmoil. This person seems to be very emotional, whoever it is that you're thinking about. This person is going through a major life change right now. And, and therefore they're not even ready to focus on the future. Okay, they're not. They're not. I feel like they're in their emotions. Uh, they maybe they're working on healing over uh, over a major loss in their life. Whoever you're dealing with, this person is not even ready for uh, a commitment. Put it that way. They're not even ready for a commitment. Whoever you whoever it is that you were thinking about, um, this is this is definitely. It feels like that you may. Uh, mm, there's disharmony here. There's disharmony. There's disconnection. One-sided, unrequited love. It's and, and this is on your side. I feel like you're 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 just not really in love with this person anymore, or something like that. Maybe you're not sexually attracted to them. Oh, oh yeah. There's there's a lack of passion. There's no desire. There's a lack of sexual attraction. This person may have lowered your self-esteem. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whatever. There's there's definitely a very uh, promiscuous individual here that has probably lowered your self-esteem. Okay, this person may have involved themselves with another woman and you're now you feel like you're not good enough. You may feel like you're not you're you're inadequate. You know what I mean? Um, I feel as though you need to raise your self-esteem. You need to think positive. There's a lot of negative thinking here. I think that you need to uh, be assertive. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with is very forceful. They are very controlling and 
you know, they probably need, they probably have a chip on their shoulder. Whoever you're dealing with has a chip on their shoulder and you probably need to uh, knock that chip right off by the looks of things. I'm sorry. But um, I feel like you, uh, I mean, the Knight of Swords is defend yourself. Find your strength and your courage to stick up for yourself. Do not let this person walk all over you. I don't know who needs needs to hear that message. This person may have another person, you know, they have a there's a third party is what I'm trying to say. Whoever you're dealing with is definitely going back and forth between you and another person. And I think that you need to be honest with yourself. Okay? I think that you need to come up with some sort of strategy to protect yourself from this individual who thinks that they can control you. They enjoy the control that they have over you, okay? So whoever you're dealing with, they may say, I love you or something like that, but I have to tell you, I don't think it's real. I think it's false. And I think it's all about power and control with this person. So I'm sorry to give you that message, but I think that you need to be realistic here and you need to be, you need to be wise. I think that you may be um, making a getaway. Maybe, you're, maybe you need to get away from this person. You need to get out quick. You need to get out quick because this person, whoever you're dealing with, uh, is able to control you in some way. They are. They like to control your emotions. And you allow it. But I think you have the opportunity to take your power back in your own hands. So this weekend, weekend, I don't know why I said weekend. This week, you may be breaking free from an old commitment that no longer, you no longer desire. It's like there's no attraction here anymore. The other person maybe ghosted you, they abandoned you, they neglected you. There's neglect, abandonment. This is unhealthy. This is totally unhealthy. This is a major loss right next to the tower. Whoever you're dealing with is experiencing a major loss. Reckless behavior. This is recklessness, moving too fast, out of control, a show off. Whoever you asked about is overly competitive and forceful and they are a show off and they definitely have a chip on their shoulder and they don't take responsibility seriously. It feels like something coming to a stop. This person is falseness because this is a false foundation. They're, this, per, who, this is a shock. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be, whoever you asked about is going to be experiencing some sort of loss in their life. And I'm sorry to say that. And this is who you asked about that is going to uh, shock them. It is going to shock them. This person is has made some uh, reckless mistakes. This is recklessness. Overly competitive, very loud, troublemaker. This is a troublemaker. And this could be this, whoever they're dealing with. Whoever, because, you know, this is a choice between two people. So you, the person that you are dealing with may have a choice between you and another person. And that's what they have anyway. They do. And I think that they're struggling to make their choice. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too, whoever you're dealing with. And they present themselves to be somebody that they are not. And their falseness is, there's going to be a crumble. There's going to be a crash. They're going to, they're about to crash. They're about to hit the ground. And I don't know if there is going to be a crash. Because this is a crash and this is a crash. So, you know, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I feel like somebody needs to slow down. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign or a Scorpio or something like that. And there's overly competitiveness here. This person can, is very forceful and can get angry. This is anger and this one is too. Could get angry and blow up. There could be a blow up over here. 
And there could be a sudden departure with both of these cards. Six of Swords moving away. Somebody's going to be moving. They're going to be going someplace. They're going to be going to a better place. Whoever you asked about is going to be moving. They're going to be going someplace else because wherever they live is going to, you know, there's going to be a change in residence for this person. This person is moving in a new direction. They are. This is like some sort of explosion that forces them to move. Seven of Wands reversed. And so this is overwhelmed. Setback. This is a setback. This is stepping down. Weakness. This is a fall from power. Giving up. Moving. Whoever you asked about. And it feels like there's a lot of fire here. I don't know if it's a fire sign. Whoever that you asked about. This is a surrender. I give up. This is a very impulsive energy as well. So you have somebody here that is very impulsive that moves way too fast. Very um, false, fake. Whoever you asked about is definitely, and they could be going to a, maybe they need a nurse. Now this is uh, stepping down. Moving. Somebody's moving. Whoever you asked about is moving. They're moving. They're moving away. One more card for Capricorn. There's this is this is no no growth not going anywhere. I got to be honest with you. This is this is unmaterialized being weighed down. This person has weighed you down. I'm sorry. It's a false sense of security that is about to crumble. The light is going to be shed. Somebody's fakeness or falseness or whatever, something's going there's going to be crash. This is going to allow you to start with a clean slate. There could be a fight. This is extremely unhealthy. It really is. Somebody could be end up in rehab behind locked doors or something like that. Whoever this person is. And it could be, if you're dealing, like there is a third party situation here. It could be the person that you're dealing with third party that ends up in rehab. I don't know, something's going on, but this is putting in effort, working, moving towards uh, building a new foundation. Doing something repetitive. This person is going to be put in a place where they're gonna be doing something very repetitive. Now this is the end of a relationship. Tens are completions. They are. So whoever this person is, is, is moving towards uh, putting in effort to start a new life, a new relationship. Because this Ten of Cups is the end of a relationship. It is. It's a completion. They're going to be putting in effort to find happiness. They're moving. Somebody, you're, you may receive news that whoever you asked about is moving. Or the person that they were dealing with is moving. Because I do feel like there's a third party situation here. Or you're moving. I do see a lack of attraction here. There's no desire. This is this is going south, uh, going down. Okay, that's a thumbs down. This person, somebody's going down. Could be the third party. Anyhow, um, yeah. 
Good luck.